Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. I'm gonna you, dude. Get on the ground, James. Police officers need to adhere to the laws and never abuse their power. Today, we'll be going through these cases where corrupt cops were caught breaking the law and ended up paying for their action. On September 14th, 2023, the Lyon County Sheriff's Office received a complaint about an open and uncontained fire in the area. Shortly after, a deputy arrived at the scene and noticed an individual attempting to leave the area on a bicycle. He immediately pulled over and went over to confront him. What's up, my man? Come here. Come here. Oh, yeah, no, put the bike down. Put the bike down. Why, it's my bike. Because I told you to put the bike down. Why are you stopping me right now? Because you're riding your bike with light I'm on. I'm riding it. I gotta put the bike I down. right here. Dude, put the bike right down. Here. I said, no, fuck put that. the bike down, James. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. The person riding the bike was later identified as James Gresham, who was not involved in the fire, which also was later determined to be a bonfire party. The officer immediately got aggressive with James and refused to de-escalate the situation. Turn, Turn around, put your hands behind your back. I'm gonna chase you, dude. What have I Get done on the wrong? ground, James. What have I done wrong? 562 King. Get what on the ground. I've done wrong? I've not done nothing wrong. Get on the ground, James. I've done nothing wrong. Am I being detained? Get on the ground, James. I'm detained. Am I being detained? Subject stop. Am I 425 being detained? 425 Willow, white male. Help! Get on the ground, James. You are being I'm detained, you idiot. Get on the ground. I'm on the ground. I'm a tase you, dude. Get on hey, the ground. The Put the flashlight down. Am I being detained? Yes! James repeatedly asked the ignorant deputy why he was being detained. The deputy had no understanding of the law as he proceeded with the illegal arrest. For not listening. Why Drop that detained? flashlight. That's not an Drop that That's flashlight. Not an reason for suspicion that I committed a crime. Yeah, it is. You it took is off. Not. Yes, it is. It is not. Yeah, it is, James. No, it is not. You still Call your out. Supervisor. You still. Call your supervisor. Relax. No, I'm not relaxing. Call your supervisor. This is gonna stop. Shut up. Call your supervisor. I want you to call your supervisor. I am Amendment the supervisor, audit. dipshit. Shut Fifth up. Amendment audit. Yeah, try the Fifth First Amendment. Amendment. Shut First up. First Amendment audit. You have no reason to stop me right now. Yeah. None. You're riding your bike with no lights on. Right there in my hand. Yeah, it's got to be on the it fucking was on bike. The bike. On the bike. I just took it off. No, I just watched you right away you when I rolled it. up. You didn't tell me to stop. There was no stop. I was doing nothing wrong. Yeah, I told you to stop I did right here. Nothing wrong. The officer's approach seemed clueless as he continuously denied the suspect's request to speak with the supervisor. You have no crime I committed. 562 King. No. One detained. 29 on last Call aggression, your first of James. Call your supervisor. I want to see your supervisor right now. Shut up! Yeah. I want your supervisor. Zero. I've not committed a crime. You have no reason to stop. Yeah, me. I did. This when I right. told you to stop. I'd like to stop to your. Yeah. Your, I stopped when you told yeah, me to stop. With me, I'm gonna argue. And with I had you. to pull my taser you out. Have no reason to stop me. Yes, I do. None. What? Yeah. I've not committed a crime. No misdemeanor. No felony. Yeah, James called riding a bike without a headlamp. I got a headlight right there. It's not on the bike, I James. Your friend. Hey, I'm not on a bike. I'm in a parking lot, private property. What are you doing here? You got any dope on you, James? No, I don't. Now what? I want your supervisor. Stand up. I want your stand supervisor. up. I'm gonna stand up. Where's your seat, right? Face away. Put Where's your feet apart. The deputy then proceeded to search him illegally as he kept violating his First Amendment rights. At this point, the officer still failed to provide a valid explanation for the detainment. You got any weapons on you? Nope. Well, I don't know. Maybe something. I don't know. I doubt it, though. No maybe needles. some what? No, I don't know. I don't know. I got a lot of shit in my pockets. I've been working on cars all day. You got a Check knife on you? Yeah. I know this. I have, I'm being detained for no reason. I want to talk to your supervisor. I want to see your supervisor. What supervisor, James? You I think we're at your, your call, you I, dip? I, yes. No, First no. Amendment audit right now. Go. Yeah, First Amendment audit. You have no reason to stop me right now. In yeah. violation of my First Amendment rights, and my fifth, and my fourth, and my ninth. Put your feet apart, James. Yeah, sure. Face the car. Face the car. I want to see your supervisor. I just you. No. Private property. I'm right here in my house. I live right there. James, still frivolous about the arrest, kept on complaining to the officers, still maintaining his belief that he had no legal basis to be stopped. I don't have to answer the question. Yeah, you do. Okay. You're going to jail. To. Yep. You're going to. For what? 
What's that for argument? I'm, I'm asking you some I basic, you, like basic information. My name's James Gresham. You know my name. I asked you what your date of birth was. I don't have to answer your questions. Yes, you do. I guess I do, huh? Yes. Because I'm being detained, yes. right? Yes. 52069. And I'm, this is an illegal stop. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Or your supervisor. I want to see your supervisor. Sir. James, you know how many times you have no right to You know how many property. times you've been in public property? I'm okay. not convicted of nothing. Within some moments, another sheriff's deputy arrived on the scene, and that's when James took the corrupt deputy to a law lesson. Do you think that maybe you just answer a couple quick questions? But when you're rolling up here and then coming back, you told like, me to come back, so I came back. Yeah, and then I'm telling you to drop the bike. You're not dropping the bike, my and then bike. you push it. You, you're trying you to bike. tense up on me. In my hand. I didn't do nothing yes, on you. Yes, you did. That's why you were stopping me. Yes, I you did. I saw you pull up here. That's why I turned around to come back. All right. I knew you were gonna come. How about that? Yeah, because when I roll up for this bonfire, do with me. You were there. I was just talking to them, asking yeah. them what's up with the bonfire. Oh, and they're okay. barbecuing. Imagine that. Did you stop and ask what? about the fire? I didn't. You took off. I'm like, I, where's I this guy have, going? I, was, I didn't have to stop for you. Just because you pull up, don't mean I stop my life. I have. It you does have no when there's a crime being committed. No, I didn't commit a crime. Huh. I committed no crime. What was my articulate reason for suspicion? I already told you. To come here to stop me. I already told you. There is no crime. I'd like to talk to your supervisor, sir. It don't happen. Right now. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah you can you want. want that. Despite knowing that James was innocent and had no involvement with the fire, the deputy kept on detaining him, further fueling James's anger and frustration. Sure it does. I wasn't asked to stop. What's that? I wasn't asked to stop. Because you took off. I wasn't asked to stop. Yeah, I that's why I came over here and told There's you to stop. no reason to stop me. That's why I came over here There's and told no you to stop. There's no reason to stop me. What's your reason for stopping me? Go for What's your reason for coming over here? I'm on private property, man. Yeah, well, Why did you come here? What's that? What is your articulable, reasonable suspicion for stopping me on private property, man? Because. What? What's because? Flight from the cops. A flight from who? I did wasn't stopped. I know, because you didn't give me a chance. What are you, so you going to stop me for? See what's going on with this fire. That has nothing to do with me. Okay. The deputy wasted no time in brandishing his taser, falsely attributing his aggressive behavior to James and continuing to lie about the situation. Now that I know who you are, but I didn't know who you were. What I'm saying is this. What was your reason for stopping me? What was your reason for coming here? That. What? Because you're trying to get away from me. No, I didn't run from yeah. nobody. I went home. And now, and, I don't need to see no and maybe, and maybe it would be more plausible if you did live there. But now we can't. Now we can't even verify that you live there. Well, why don't we call Sharon then, Val? Okay. Why don't we call Sharon, the person who lives there? Does Sharon live there? Yes, yeah, she sure does. So how are you gonna? Number? How are you gonna get in there? What do you mean? How are you gonna I get in the house? Home. Usually she's home at night. I don't have to answer these questions. I'm not doing nothing wrong. Right, don't answer the questions. Sir. Listen, huh? hey, listen, care. Carl. I'm not doing nothing wrong. I'm on private property. You're harassing me. You're I'm not harassing you. Right now. I'd like to see. A it doesn't change how we go about this. I've yeah. had to study for my law for this bullshit. James's repeated requests to speak with a supervisor were consistently ignored as the deputies proceeded to escort him to the police cruiser. Come on back here. We'll get it. Sure. What's that? What's up? Duct tape. Yeah. Alright, have a seat. Mistake. You made a mistake, bud. The deputy proceeded to take James to the police station where he was charged with resisting arrest. Currently, we don't know the status of the charge as the court document remains private. However, once this incident got viral, Lyon County Sheriff Brad Pope released a statement claiming that the deputy didn't violate any policies and acted in a great manner. The deputy, however, used abusive language from the outset and maintained an aggressive demeanor throughout, clearly acting unlawfully. We can only hope that James pursues legal action against this corrupt deputy. Well, this officer may have got off lightly, but this next cop was made accountable for his brutality. Last chance, man. No. Get the f out. On August 20th, 2022, several Somerville police officers were conducting a narcotics surveillance operation when they pulled over a black guy whom they accused of picking a suspicious package some minutes earlier. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. I know what you picked up. I know what you picked up over there, okay? What I picked up? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll tell you. Come on. Get out of the car. 
What, what, Come no, on. I ain't getting out the car till y'all tell me what's going on. We're now. about to tell you what's going on. Come on no, out. No, bro. What, what, what's going on? Right, let me record this. Okay. Y'all got y'all. Whoa, whoa, what y'all got y'all yeah, camera? We're recording right now, so come on out. What's going on? We got the camera. Yeah, come on out. Come on out. Oh, no, 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 no. Officer Robert Barano was the aggressor as he straight away went over to use force against the poor guy who was still trying to make some sense of the arrest. However, within a minute, the entire situation escalated. I mean, don't grab me. Uh, well, we're telling you, giving you a lawful order. If you don't why? get out, you're about That's to get okay. ripped out of the car. Well, go ahead. So don't. I got a bank problem. Don't rip me out. I'm of the not car. trying to do that. So well, come, on on, come on out. Come on out. We'll the car. explain we're it to you. We're gonna tell you, dude. Come on, step out of the car. If, if, let me go. No, I'm not letting you go. Bro, let uh, me this go. This is your last bro. chance, man. No. You're... Get out. The officer repeatedly punched the black man as he cried out in despair. Soon after, plenty of officers were all over him trying to handcuff him. I just left my paint, my grandson's house. What's going on? Somebody punched me in my face. Hey, bro. Oh, oh Johnny, what's going on? Right. What's going on? Listen, what are you, what are you like? Don't punch me in my face. That shit hurt, man. That shit hurt. He was wrapping up, so he gave the nose thing. At the house? Yeah, we need to go there now. Yep. Hey, if we need to do it, we need to fuck. We need to I'll follow up for you. The guy had done nothing wrong, and there was no package containing any narcotics found inside his car. He made sure to let his frustrations known to the corrupt officers. Yeah, I sure do. I sure do. My face is hurt, man. So Punch me. I'm a, I'm a good citizen. Punch me. Raven, what did Raven No, man, let me go. He thought I was going to the 300, but we got to confirm it's still there. We got to confirm it. Yeah, we have to make sure that if we're not, we don't have anything. See if he's up on one. 16, 17. Naz. Naz. Resisting. Oh, mother. It's on the porch still. Hey. So this black male has a hand on the package. He's been pacing around. He's been pacing around? Okay, but um, it has to... Um, Somebody's got to grab it and bring I, it in. Yeah, ask, ask Jamie uh, if that's good enough for us to go in and... Uh, he was pleading his innocence and crying as well, but none of the officers had any empathy for him. Who punched me in my face? Be honest. I ain't worried about what you're doing, what's going on. Just take me to jail and somebody punch me in my face. Get your hand off me, man. What? What's going on? I don't know what's going on. That's what I'm saying, man. I do, thank you. You think y'all throwing me on the ground like I'm so kind of down? If y'all want something, y'all just bruh. Being what? Y'all telling people to step out of the vehicle? I don't know what the fuck's going on. I'm 42. Probably should. Didn't kill y'all. Oh, step out the vehicle. That's not the way to act, people, man. Come on, man. I am Max Brown, man. My face hurt, bro. How you understand? Let me punch you in your face. Would you understand that? Cause I'm mad, bro. No, I ain't nobody be mouth parted. I bet I'm older than you, bro. Thank you. Now why not be mad? I'll pay my motherfucking taxes and shit, man. Bro, I don't care. My kids up there. You want to act like this is one of your kids? Exactly. Bro, bro, they will be mad pissed if I come back with a fucking black eye, bro. Imagine you getting hit in the face for next check because you won't get out the fucking car. You don't know what's going on. officers were starting to realize that he had not done anything wrong. Soon after, instead, they contacted a canine unit to search the car for any narcotics. We thought there was a package in there. Who, who the driver? Are you 
Say again? Who thought the package was in there? We did. It was okay. supposed to be a controlled delivery. Gotcha. gotcha. Yeah, I thought if we could get that trunk closed to him. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
but the door seems like it's uh, okay. We're not sure. I took some pictures. Okay. And then up here, uh, move the push bar and den in the hood. Uh, we got uh, the zip tool. Yep. Well, technically, the officer was at fault, as he claimed to have been looking at his computer inside the car and not focusing on the road ahead, thus colliding with a guy. The sergeant then proceeded to take control of the situation. Where was that? Somewhere here? Right in front of Arby's. Oh, you guys were coming? Yeah, I was heading last. Okay. Alright, we got all the information from him. Mm -hmm. Run his driver's license? Yeah. Dispatch him? Uh, no. I just called in to you. I didn't call it out of the code, too. Because yeah. I wasn't sure how to call it out. You got your driver's license, partner? What about his insurance info? Insurance information. Driver's license I got. Are uh, you the registered owner? Yes. The sergeant proceeded to learn more about the case, and he ended up giving a ticket to the police officer. We could have been here quicker, but we had roll call already at 6 o'clock. Oh, no, I just, so, I just, I just, yeah, I just, but, uh, there's nothing else you need, man. You're all set. Are you a Navy guy? Yes, sir. Appreciate your service. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you as well. Thank you. Well, here's your punishment. You get to go to the OH-1. Well, probably deserve more than that, but. Well, you probably take it. So. Geese and their babies. When I was coming here, one family of geese, second family of geese, third family. Person in front of me was slowing down. Can you just make sure all my brake lights work? I'm gonna yeah, step on the brakes real quick. It's kind of hard to do. Yeah, we don't want to get you a ticket for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd feel real bad yeah, about it. Yeah, it, and insult to injury. Yeah, you're good. All right, thank you. Hey, try your turn signals too. That's good. All uh, right, you're all set. Yep. Officer Daniel was cited for a violation of a city ordinance, and two weeks later, he pleaded guilty and paid a $190 fine. While the officer made a mistake by not focusing on the road and instead looking at his computer, he handled the situation effectively by calling a supervisor to assess the situation more thoroughly. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Today, we got to see cases where police officers escalated the situations, which could have been handled pretty calmly and easily. Particularly in the first two cases, the officers blatantly violated citizens' rights and acted as if they were above the law. The officer in the last case was fairly good and came forward to own his mistakes. Nevertheless, law enforcement officers must be trained in de-escalation tactics and anger management to prevent such sad instances from happening. If you agree with me, please consider showing your support by liking this video and also make sure to subscribe to stay informed about future cases like these. Also, if you enjoyed this video, check out the next video here.